Uh, I did have some uh, uh, stuff I wanted to ask you about. Uh, uh, what's going on in Seattle? Oh, oh, uh, what do you call it? That uh, they got that uh, uh, Seattle uh, is is where that Chaz or, or where they yeah, take Chaz. Bj's yeah. Bj's been down there. Yeah. What uh, what 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 info are you getting on that? It's a peaceful block party. There's nothing bad going on. You know, um, there was heavy violence, which caused it to be established in the first place. But once it got established, um, it appears that, you know, there aren't any police to fight. So there's no line to uh, throw bricks over. Well, that, you know, would seem to be a good uh, example uh, for other places uh do you see any way where it might uh expand to other places or is it gonna just be a you know it's sort of a a one-off the only th way we c it can expand to other places if is if we write about it on the diner and other people push say what's going on and push the idea because here's what i think happened i think personally i think there's actors involved in this whole thing and they're trump tards of one form or another whether they're actually getting paychecks from the military or whether they're volunteer assholes i don't know i don't know any of the details about who caused um, a whole bunch of people to show up with designer backpacks and rocks you know five inch concrete rocks and backpacks and they're all wearing black you know, ninja, perfectly ta tailored ninja outfits like we've seen many times before. Now it's getting pretty common, you know, and they called a man. We know that Antifa in the past has always shown up when a white supremacy, well, white supremacist thing is going on. You know, they show up to oppose them. And so why are they showing up to fight police? They've never done that before. But, you know, they're called that. So whatever they are, what happened was the violence that night was getting pretty hot and heavy. Uh, and one of the National Guard almost lost an eye, or he's going to lose an eye. And um, they got intelligence that said that the police department was going to be attacked. And so somebody, uh, you know, the mayor, the, the governor, you know, one of our leaders came up with the idea somewhere. I mean, I'm I'm pulling this part out of my ass but you can figure it out it's probably the truth and uh they they, they figured out you know why don't we de-escalate and just move the police out of there well i think the intel that they got about you know the trouble was probably true and they were getting it by the because what the other side wanted was an escalation i think they wanted you asked i'm talking about this because you asked if it's going to happen anywhere else no other people other leaders are going to make the other decision they're going to send in more police if they got the intel they're not going to say let's de-escalate and get rid of the problem that's a pretty rare thing and i you got to give it to i mean i'm really impressed with with our seattle mayor for doing this you know it's you know i, I think it's great now i don't actually approve uh i'm not going down there if you looked i just put an addendum on my article that's on the diner too where I say, you know, in the midst of a pandemic, um, I'm not going down there, but I approve of it, you know, and and, and uh, so th that's what's going on. I, th I think Trump got foiled and I think that's why he was so pissed about it. You know, why is he talking about Seattle? What does he care for about we have a block party or not? The same place has one every year. We only have like 50 block parties a year in Seattle when we don't have a damn epidemic going on. So what's the big deal? And I think I think the big deal is that they were they they whoever they are was was they were going to take action and, and try to escalate something in Seattle that would really justify a big crackdown, you know, and and, and bring the Trump tards, you know, back up the poll numbers back up, you know. That's what I think is going on. Yeah, and uh, you know, try, it looks like Trump has been foiled, also with the uh, Tulsa uh, uh, rally that he was going to hold. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was on June umpteenth or something like that, the, the anniversary date of uh, uh, of the slave, uh, the freeing the slaves. 
Yeah. Uh, and uh, and the 99th anniversary of a, a massacre uh, uh, that occurred in Tulsa. Uh, so, you know, there was both of those things were uh, at that. Now he's walked it back. He's not going to hold this rally uh, where he's going to hold it and when he's going to hold it. Uh, I don't know. As of yet, I don't know if it's been announced, but it has been announced that he is not going to do that. And so these various things of, of him being sort of penned into a corner, uh, you know, what happens when you pen a person into a corner uh, who is not stable is to take it more unstable. Yes, uh, and I hope he pisses his pants, you yeah. know. Well, yeah. I, 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 I have heard that he does that already, but, you know, let's not go there. That's but I mean, I, the more grief he gets, the better he deserves every bit of it. So, yeah. you know, no, I, I, you know, from, you know, that's not good if he can do anything to hurt people, you know, right. You know, we don't want. But really, um, hopefully, the more out of touch he gets with people, the more people he'll be ignored because it's starting. You know, that sometimes tyrants fall just because everybody stops listening to them when they really go batshit crazy. And yeah. He's in that category. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, he made a tweet a week ago or something like that, that, you know, even the re Republicans who, you know, have basically, you know, been toadies uh, through his whole presidency, even the guys that, uh, you know, before he was elected, you know, called him, you know, insane, idiot and whatnot. Uh, you know, once he got elected, you know, everybody was kissing, has been kissing his ass for the last three years. Uh, but uh, now, after that tweet, you know, these these guys, I don't remember what the, the topic was on it, but, you know, they were speechless, you know. It was like, oh, my God, you know. Uh, That's exactly, I, you know, I don't know which one it is either because there have been several where I've, I, I, I know I've, I've read it. I know I, I was one of the ones that went, oh, my God, I don't believe this. I cannot believe a president is saying this. You know, it's just unbelievable. And that whole business about holding the Bible upside down, you know, I, I love that because it is upside down. Or, or if it's not, you can make a hell of a strong argument that it is. And, you know, fundamentalists, you know, what can they say, you know? <laughs> In their yeah. belief system, it has to be one way or the other. There's no in between. So, you know, it's a dirty trick on them. But I loved, you know, I, I've made a few comments about that. Where it's like, yeah, he's got to be Satan because God would have known to hold it up the right way. You only had two choices. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They could have held it sideways. Okay. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but anyway. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, this, this editing job is not something I'm looking forward to. Uh, but, uh, you know, thanks uh, for joining us. Uh, and, uh, you know, we strayed far and wide, but uh, well, should be some good stuff in there that I can use. Uh, I'm just going to have to uh, creatively cut, uh, which will be fun. Uh, so uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. If you want to get to Seattle again, but uh, it's not happening anytime too soon. Uh, I'm not getting on a plane uh, before I get a vaccine. Uh, you know, and I don't see, foresee a vaccine for two years, minimum, uh, based on, you know, any kind of normal statistics. And even that's reckoning it. So, uh, and then I do foresee also a, a real second wave coming in uh in the fall and winter, uh, not uh, the sort of faux second wave that we have now. That's just the first wave with the result of, uh, of trying to open up their economies too soon in many states. Uh, and, uh, you know, just uh, people associating, trying to ignore the fact that COVID exists and uh, they're going to live their normal lives and, uh, you know, go out to bars and go to the beaches and, uh, you know, Got to have our tourist economy, of course. And so, that's going to be promoted every way it can be by, you know, the conservative elements of our society, possibly even the military. Because if you think about it, you can you can make a national security argument about, uh, over the economy, you know. So that could justify all sorts of weirdness behind closed doors that we don't know about. Absolutely. All right. 
So let's uh, hang it up and uh, talk to you again soon. I don't know what the next uh, cafe project will be, but I'm backed up now with this. I got uh, two in the can that, that I got to get up. And uh, so I'm probably not going to actually record one again for at least uh, two or three weeks. Yeah. Uh, and uh, who knows where collapse will go and what you know the latest uh, insanity will be uh, at that time uh, you know, yeah everything. who knows i mean you know everything, we're getting a lot of everything happen, everything's happening so fast now yeah. you know i mean it was like uh, you know for years essentially it was plodding along at such a slow pace relatively speaking at least in the human lifespan uh that you know we had lots of deniers on the diner, you know, for a long time. We had uh, M. King and uh, Golden Oxen and whatnot, you know, and all these folks that, uh, you know, oh, no, it's, you know, not going to be really bad and, uh, you know, so forth. Uh, but now it's undeniable. I mean, it is moving. It is moving. Uh, and uh, on all fronts, uh, you know, it's supposed to be the worst hurricane season uh in you know recorded history coming up uh and uh so we're gonna have climate disasters and uh you know it's hard to imagine you know if you gotta put a whole town or city like miami into shelters how the fuck are they gonna socially isolate okay uh so you can't protect yourself from both at the same time. Uh, if you protect yourself from the hurricane, like going to a shelter, then you're going to expose yourself to COVID. If you stay out of the shelter, you're exposed to a hurricane. All right? Well, you can't win. I, I think we shall stay out of Florida. Let's make a pact <laughs> for the next year. Well, no, yeah. I, I, I got my mother down there. But, like you know. I said, I'm not going to Florida. I'm not leaving Alaska uh, for at least the next year. Uh, and, uh, you know, it gets tough to be a housebound cripple year round, staying in your same place at your computer station. And thank God for the computer and my ability to talk to people and communicate and whatnot, because otherwise I'd be fucking nuts by now. I'd be completely insane. Uh, I'm, I'm partially insane, but but I'd be completely insane. Uh, and uh, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. when, the, when the Internet goes dark, that's the day I put a bullet in my brain. OK, uh, I'm 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 calling it quits. Uh, 